Okay. So if you see this example, right? Last created example. Here we created an index page, index.html with this form, book name, price, author, and description. So this is the action. This action will go to web.xml. And this action is going to the servlet. So the call will go to the servlet. And if it is a get method here, it goes to get method. If it is a post, it will go to post method. Let me change it to post. So my method is post. So here also I need to use do post. If it is a get, do get. If it is a post, there is a do post method. Use that do post method. Okay. For do, for get, do get. For post, do post. Now by using this, we could able to save data. Into which table? Into this uh, save book method, we are trying to save into bookstore. So let us see. Check table data. So we have created few books. This Java, Lenovo, Poems, something. Four books data I have here. Now, when you want to show this data, we did only insert operation here, right? When you want to show that same data in the presentation layer itself, in your presentation layer itself, okay? So I'll create one more action here, anchor tag, text reference. Now I'll create a link, simple link, show all books. Show all books, I'll create an action for that one, show books. Okay, so any default action, right? Any default action. Now, if you see here, this is form. We are submitting form. But here, this is a hyperlink. Always the hyperlink default method type is get type. Always URL, this show books URL method type is get method only. Now, for this URL, I will do creating a mapping, one more URL pattern here for show books. So if you have multiple pages with multiple actions, all that actions we should configure here as URL patterns. If your page is having 10 pages, 10 URLs, all the 10 URLs configuration we should do here. This first URL is for form and this is for hyperlink. Now, when I get the request for this hyperlink also, I want to forward it to same servlet, book servlet. So as that method is get method, I lower it to get method. I'll override do get method. Who will call this do get method? This link. When I call show books, the link will come here and it will redirect to book servlet. Into book servlet, which method it will call do post is for post method. And this do get is for get method. As our URL is get method, the call will come here. Once after getting call, I want to select all the books from database. So for that one, I'll implement one. Here I'll implement one. Get all books. So for this get all books, I don't need any input, but I need to send a response as a output. Okay, I need to send response as a output here. Let me put result set. Why? Because once I get the data, I'll get the data in the form of result set only. So get the result set. Okay, here create a statement dot execute query. Select operation we need to write here. Select the star from bookstore. Now what I will get as a result here, I'll get data in the form of result set. Now return this result set here, return result set. So now this book DAO object, 
create here a book do object in your starlet book do new book do to get the data do dot get all books when you call this get all books it will return you all the books data in the form of result set now that data i want to show in the front end page so to redirect to front end page what you need to do this response dot get writer will return you response dot get writer will return you a response object response dot get writer will give print writer object printer writer now you using this object right you can send your data how to send so i'll get result set as a response here as i'm returning result set right you know when you call something it is executing without input i'm not giving any input because i need everything so it is executing operation and this query getting data into result set finally i am returning result set so when you do return it the same type we will put here if you return integer here we put in if you return float value here here float if you return string here we will put string if it is a result set here we need to put result set only now i got result set back here you know result set will have your data your books data now you know how to iterate through it while result set dot next okay out dot print out dot print or print ln out dot print ln you can pass any string you want here if you want to print this in the form of table right create a table here okay we can create a table before iteration create table after iteration close the table between iterations right i want to show my books data what are all the columns you have in the table you have book name book price author and book description so those are my headings so headings also create here this is html code i am writing html code in my servlet you can do that okay you can comfortably write html code here table header th close th close th finally row should be closed and similar way you need to print the data here you need to print your data here result set dot you will get output right append that output here dynamic output result set dot get string what are all the data is first two are strings first first one is string next one is uh, number and the next two are strings so first is get column 1 second one is integer get in to so this is how you can append your data i am appending my data to html code finally this one i will get it as a result third column and the fourth column data
that's it we are done with our table also now this table it will return to us try to run it run it on server just a minute yes okay so the basically data it is not showing right what might happen with it now to understand the problem to understand the problem right what might happen here bookstore everything looks good result set also returned print exception and see is there any exception we are getting So we got an exception here when we click show all closed connection okay so as a result it will expect connection to be not to close your connection should not close until your data is reading but we are closing it right once after returning it here when we call get all books we are getting results right and finally we are closing it before returning itself we are closing so that result set is not having connection between database and our code so then what is the solution i'll read the data here itself here i'll read the data and i'll send that data back so what shall we do can we can we do this um yeah i'll read this data and i'll put it into a 
I'll put it into a map object, multiple map of list. Or uh, else you might get confused with it, right? Let me do this. I'll send the response input here. I'll do this construction inside my PO class. So everything, data reading and sending response also, I'll do there itself. What I'll return finally, I'll return print to data directly. Output object I'll return, which is basically will send output. This logic cut here, and we will paste here. So as I need to read data directly from result set, I just can do result set read operation. Finally, I'll send out. Okay, in my DO class itself, I'm reading data and I'm creating a print writer object using the response object and creating table and finally sending out. So output I'll get here directly. When I call DO dot get all books, it will return one output object. Okay, that's all. The output automatically it will take it forward as we appended already to response side. It will directly send it to user. Even you no need any return value here. Just whatever you append into output object that will be sent back to user. Now restart your application. Show all books. See, now I could able to see all my books here. So you guys following, right? I'm getting all my books. If you want to register, go back and add new book. Advanced spring book price, 500 book author, Naveen. Advanced spring of concepts. Create book. Hello, book registered successfully. Now, if you want to see all the books, show all the books. So, advanced spring book also appended. Okay, this is how you can return data. There are many approaches. This is very age old approach. Okay, the old approach that I use just for our learning sake. Okay, water. We'll get some table water here. I need to put it into single quotes.
you want to restart also you can restart once you do with the changes right you can restart go right click run on server finish oh now click on show all books see it is showing nice table okay so this is how you can implement select operation you got it right and if you want to go back to previous pages simple html code will help us here if you want to go back to previous page right here you can have one more line and the tag the reference index.html just it will go back to your previous page go back will go back to previous page again you do the registration of new book spring boot create book book registered successfully and show all books the newly created book also could able to see then again you can go back so this is how you can implement i'll share you this okay i'll share you the same example do this uh, 